And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. It's a one-point game. As we get into the home stretch here. Jordan breaking his own record and setting a new one here in the Big Apple. Boy, what a game. They're going back and forth. All the makings of a nail-biter. This could go down to the wire. And the Knicks with possession here. Starts the pass to Ewing. Over Purdue. No good from Ewing. But Clark in a competitive game, Jordan might just have to tough it out on the floor. You know, some guys think the only way to get in real basketball shape is to play the games, and I'm in that camp. And certainly if that's true, then Jordan probably wants to get as much action as he can since he's looking to get playoff ready. And I know he cannot wait. Jordan can't get it to go. He's a solid mid-range shooter, but just wasn't able to knock that one down. Clark, you look back at the course of this game. Stark has not been able to impact Michael Jordan's game as much, I think, as he would have liked. Hey, it's pretty elementary. Trying to defend and stop Jordan and keep him from being effective is a hard thing to do, even if Jordan is a little off his game and maybe rusty. MJ's been able to tough it out no matter what kind of defense Starks has provided. What a testament to Jordan's talent. Jordan passes to Armstrong. Jordan in the record continues to climb for Michael Jordan. A testament to his superior strength. I like watching Jordan muscle through contact and finish. Jordan. One shot. throw good Jordan this has been a stellar offensive game Mike for Michael Jordan especially when you consider the setting he's sticking it to the Knicks here at home and that's a great way to let the whole world know I'm really back I love the way you said he's sticking it to the Knicks every Bulls fan right now is smiling at that for the Knicks John starts at the line two shots the first one falls I have so much respect for the way John Starks plays the game. I mean, his energy, his tenacity, his competitive spirit, all of that has made him a uh, fun guy to watch. Chicago leading. And Jordan throws it down. It has been on display all night. A lack of concentration on the defensive end. It's been that way all night. Each team just trying to outscore the other. Armstrong against Harper. Releases. A shot by Starks. No good. Coach, you know the Bulls really did a solid job chasing Starks off the perimeter in this game. Terrific defensive pressure to limit his output from range. Chicago knew that was part of Starks' game that they wanted to target. And they managed to shut it down effectively. You bet they did. Just three to shoot. Basket good. Jordan's got the lead up to six now for the Bulls. Smooth as silk. MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Outside Harper. Now the pass to Oakley. Let's it fly. It's Ewing that time on the assist by Oakley. And that's now 38 points for Patrick Ewing. Oakley's such a good all-around team first guy. Setting up a shooter with a nice pass there. And the dunk by Jordan. These offenses have been so sharp, so focused, so dialed in, and neither one is slowing down in the late game. If anything, I think they're gaining momentum. Both determined to run up the score as much as possible. Harper the pass to Oakley. Here's Ewing, and Ewing slams it in. A timely bucket. By Patrick Ewing, his team depends on him to come through in the big moments, and more times than not, he delivers. Jordan against Starks. Jordan kicks to Armstrong, takes a three. It's rebounded by New York. Ewing's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Harper against Armstrong. The feed to Ewing. 
over Purdue. Here's Oakley. Great D that time from Jordan. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. And they double up Jordan. Pippen, the pass to Armstrong. Jordan outside. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Jordan's got 13 points now in the quarter. On the drive, MJ is so ferocious, he never even thinks about slowing down. Pedal to the metal. Knicks trail by six. Outside Harper. There's the steal. And here's the break. Michael Jordan on the wing, covered by Starks. Jordan is double. Just five to shoot. Two coach dishes to Jordan. Going inside, and it's in there. And it's an eight-point Chicago lead. And making it look so easy. Jordan just bullying his way through the defense on the drive. Jordan against Starks. Passes to Ewing. Fades back. Bullseye. Ewing's got 42 in the game. Wow, Ewing just refusing to be denied. He says, it's not over yet. Armstrong passes to Kukoc. Outside for Jordan. Pass to Armstrong. Back to Jordan. And he commits the intentional foul. Longley's checked in for the bowl. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Bowl's substitution. Luke Longley. 44 seconds left in the fourth. And they double up Jordan. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Lock at six. Out to Kukoc. From past the arc. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. The clock is ticking in Clark. It's now or never for them to make their stand. That's exactly right. They need to lock in if they want to pull this one out. There is no margin for error. Timeout call. The bowl. They're in front by four. 26 seconds left in the game. And so they choose to intentionally foul. John Starks. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. The ideal outcome for this trip, making every shot and padding their lead. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Harper. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Ewing. Kicks to Harper. Takes the three. Kept alive. Starts outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so, Mike, the Bulls come out a winner here tonight. A big victory for them against the Knicks. And a triumphant return to New York City for Michael Jordan. Just a regular season contest, but having MJ back in the building certainly made this one feel special. Clark, do you think this registers as an especially tough loss for the Knicks? No question about it, Kevin. Always hard to lose a game at home, but you got to put it behind you. I know they're thinking ahead, and they'll look to handle business next time out. Yeah, they think they're going to rebound, I'm sure. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you later.